most of biggest event for the year has ended america has a new president and probably today indian investors are happier than the american investors now even up most of the night i was following the us elections very very closely the comedy was that when trump just needed four more seats then the people counting the votes they went to sleep their working hours were over It reminded me of sbi or lic offices you could have just counted four more and then go home and there are two people who are really happy and in the nugget section today we'll talk about the new administration how their moves could reflect in india retail portfolios in the times to come yesterday and today's dashboard may look slightly identical if you don't look at the stocks yesterday it was all about banks today it was all about it and our friend from yesterday titan as expected people did not like the results here is titan at the bottom of the pack hdfc life hdfc bank hul sbi life and titan they were at the bottom of the pack today what was taking nifty up tcs infosys lions hcl adani enterprises the changes were strong 4% kinds next 50 was lot better today than yesterday lot more greens the adani pack was looking really strong today there is a conspiracy theory here donald trump has a problem with george soros and george soros has a problem with adani group so a does not like b b does not like c that is why a likes c what was up today gale adani energy bhl zomato macro tech developers on the downside there were very few stocks only three were actually in red icsi prudential dmart bajaj holdings a repeat of yesterday just that the tower was different instead of banking we had software and the sectors with some returns for the investors this line has become better suddenly we have adani enterprises giving the best returns diversified industrial retail is adani enterprises mostly in the last two weeks today's hero it look at this line all big stocks tcs infosys hcl wipro up 4% this was one hell of a short covering everyone had fantastic volumes look at oil resumed its uptrend lot better than ongc while going up oil marketing companies were doing well today ioc bpcl hpcl specifically 4.5% the third best sector today was defense up 3.4% but today's star was bl the big stock with a big number 5.4% even hl was up 3% nifty was above this line whole day this is a beautiful graph bank nifty was up but there was no range actually to trade it opened at the highest point of the day and remained there reliance was doing nothing till about 12 o'clock then it went up it was up whole day actually it went up in the first 1 1 and 1/2 hour and then consolidated same for infosys same for hcl atl finally had a green day 1.3% up only reliance hul and bajaj finance are not in green bank nifty hdfc and icici are seesawing between green and normal zone on days like today also indusind was down 1% not much change in the private sector banks today they were kind of stationary idbi was up 3% public sector banks however were looking lot better most of the banks were up anywhere between 2 and 3% the investment pack was rocking today we have novama and nippon amc in the green zone most of the companies in this sector are in the green zone kfintech is about to get there most of the companies traded above the line whole day including hdfc amc motilal oswal only mcx was a little down auto was the greenest sector perhaps not a single exception including ola electric hindustan zinc had a huge crack that's because of the offer for sale right now it is at 513 the ofs price is roughly around 505 possibly this stock may go down even below 500 for now the smaller power companies did fantastically well today anywhere between 3 to 5% for most of the players downstairs even adani energy jsw energy vari Varun Beverages came back today up 2%. Dabur is out of the red zone. Okay day for the sector, nothing big. The non-edible section however did not do well. HUL Titan were both down, so was Imami and Gillette cooled down today. But that was after making another new high. This is a sign of people taking money out of the stock and deploying somewhere because there is a lot of money on the table. IT was at 0% yesterday. 
फोर परसेंट टूडे निफ्टी अप वन परसेंट निफ्टी एक्सपायरी इज टुमारो टुमारो इट विल बी टर्न प्रॉब्ली फॉर बैंक निफ्टी टू रिएक्ट निफ्टी एनर्जी वॉज वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग सो आर द मिड कैप्स टू पॉइंट थ्री परसेंट ऑटो वन पॉइंट टू फाइव परसेंट इट डज नॉट मीन दैट द वोज ऑफ ऑटो सेक्टर आर अप और आई टी विल बी गुड हेंस फोर दिस वॉज अ शॉर्ट कवरिंग रैली नाउ देर वॉज गुड न्यूज फॉर टाटा स्टील द रिजल्ट फॉर गुड बैक इन टू ब्लैक रूपी हाउ एवर फेल टू अ लाइफ टाइम लो टू एट्टी फोर पॉइंट थ्री एंड आई बिन टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस निफ्टी पैक वॉज लुकिंग गुड माइनर क्रैक्स इन एच डी एफ सी एंड एच यू एल यू एस मार्केट येस्टरडे वर फेंटास्टिक ऑल ग्रीन टेस्ला वॉज अप थ्री परसेंट एट द टाइम ऑफ शूटिंग दिस वीडियो टेस्ला वॉज अप नियरली फिफ्टीन परसेंट इन प्री ओपनिंग अनदर स्टॉक दैट मे गो अप अलॉट टूडे एन विडिया बिकॉज एल एन मस नीड्स एन विडिया चिप्स फॉर एवरीथिंग On a good day like today also, FII sold 4,400 crores. DII bought slightly more than that. One fantastic news came from Zen Technologies. Let me zoom a bit. They have dropped words lightest combat vehicle, automated one. This company is definitely looking promising. What is looking promising more, however, is Bitcoin. It created a lifetime high today. Seventy-five thousand was breached today. Gold and silver both corrected a bit. This was expected. Also, Diwali is over in the local market. My trades for the day: good long list. There was some part of BL left in my portfolio. Today BL was up a lot. I sold it. I today booked profits in most of the investment banking stocks. I still have Kfin Technologies left, which is the largest holding. Angel One, BSC, Cams, about fifty percent of it I sold. Nippon, also I sold. Hindustan Petro, I had bought this only for trading. Adani Enterprises, I sold in loss. That is because I needed cash and I sold it using the eATM feature of ICICI. I got instant money because I really wanted to buy Tejas Networks. And as soon as I bought this company, the stocks went up like a rocket today. I also bought Coal India, NTPC, Kalyan Jewellers, and a bit of Prima Energies. and bari energy they have been going up every day and i was just watching from sidelines every day overall a good profitable day with investments now this term will be different from trump 1.0 the person is same this time there will be lot more say and visibility of the next generation of diplomats now trump has no love for china this is not going to change some people may be surprised by this statement some of you may not like it but trump has no love for india because india puts lots of curbs on us markets trump does not like it now this may also surprise you trump has some love for russia with putin at the helm trump at power may mean different things to russia and to the russia ukraine war a lot of second generation american indians who are close to trump india loves to call them people of indian origin or indian roots they are not indians they are fully americans they care for america not india and trump has little affection for the current form of nato so the way the war has been run in the middle east as well as in europe under nato's eyes that may change significantly in the months and years to come taxes us corporate taxes were lowered last time there could could be a major overhauling this time the tax cuts could be conditional specifically towards making america great again maga like trump says or manufacturing in us specifically not outsourcing creating jobs in us exporting from us so most of the tax cuts would be directed towards these motives this will not be good for international competition especially indian it companies india does not export much beyond it to us in general in terms of volumes donald trump will for sure put counter taxes on india where india is protecting local industry this will not be good for indian exports as well as indian imports Now the way Trump and Musk have been talking, there will definitely be cuts in the U.S. spending. U.S. defense is already the best. Maybe one year, two year, survive with less money and let the thirty-three, thirty-four trillion dollar debt come down. War expenses, U.S. may want to cut them down. Also, if U.S. does not manufacture a lot for itself, India may get some of the equipment which is delayed. For example, the engines due from GE for the Tejas aircrafts. However, India will need to get the diplomacy right. Remember, diplomacy is never about right or wrong. Diplomacy is about getting your job done. US FIs have lot of money in the country. Now they may be registered via Mauritius, Switzerland, any other country, but most of them are American FIs only. Some initial money may flow out. You saw rupee weakening to a historic low today. US dollar will strengthen. Now why will this money flow out? Better options if US market is doing good. 
then take the money to us markets rupee will weaken this will be beneficial for exports but importers will choke especially their stock prices oil diplomacy this is the biggest trump has always had a love hate relationship with opec especially when the crude prices were around 130 140 and the us economy was really really getting hurt under trump before the pandemic the wars may reduce and stop also at least temporarily now this may put pressure on oil par- prices but oil prices are already very low below 70 it will become loss making for the opec countries to produce oil so what is likely is that trump will reunite with opec petro dollar will be back there will be sanctions on people who are trading outside petro dollar say in rubles yuans INR there would be diplomatic pressure for sure on other countries also which are buying finished products from countries like India so india strategy of non petro dollar may fail here it will become a game of who blinks first perhaps this will put pressure on grm specifically reliance that exports a lot of the finished product from the crude that is imported into india from the jamnagar refineries this is pressure on inr not dollar there will definitely be pressure on the rupee and if that happens then trade deficit may get highlighted in any case we have not done very well on exports in the last 10 15 years the big name it which was up a lot today today's rally in my opinion was a all in well kind of rally we were just coaxing ourselves telling ourselves everything is okay trump is here but nothing bad will happen remember till yesterday everyone was fearing trump to be coming back and it companies were hiding behind walls looking for cover nothing changed today for the good in fact trump got finalized it was perhaps only retail short covering because lot of retail had sold family silver infosys tcs hcl the it stocks opened at a high and then remained high which means retail did not get to buy low today most of them bought 3 4% high only this is typical retail they would have not have bought when these stocks were 10% down from where they closed today now trump will insist on insourcing which means get the it jobs to be done in us this time he may encourage visas however last time he was not encouraging visas so indian it may stagnate for some time and us companies which have supported kamla harris the likes of google etc they may take a silent beating they may be shrug aside by the us government wherever there is some common business google specifically has not been kind to trump during his election campaigns input cost to american industry will be reduced by prices taxes grants whatever it takes india could be an indirect beneficiary because some of these things will become cheaper for india also gold silver we already saw a bit of cool down gold and silver may cool down a little more but not much they will stay muted for some time i don't foresee a major crash if you are invested don't panic and sell i am still invested in all my gold and silver nothing sold there will be huge demand for power industrial and domestic trump wants conventional power sources trump wants electronic sources both of them will survive both of them will flourish the world will need lot more power so anything related to power production power transmission power storage those companies the best of them aligned with the right politics they will go up similarly metals china demand is picking up trump will not want to depend upon china he'll do something about it so he'll explore other sources for precious metals especially the ones used in evs now most of them are in africa and those mines and locations are right now owned by china so something has to happen in that space the other metals will really become commodities not very cheap not very expensive bitcoin is a generic term for entire crypto btc will thrive but no dramatic moves after week 1 this week could see any sort of fluctuations up or down yesterday i thought 65000 but we saw 75000 the second level currencies will do well too just for example this was bitcoin today in one day nearly 7% up look at what can happen crypto market kamla harris's meme coin this is not owned by kamla harris just around the time when she lost this coin was down 96% in one day literally zero value this is doge coin very well endorsed by mr musk that was up 87% today in one day if you know the squirrel episode what happened in new york this coin is representing squirrel justice for that squirrel which is called peanut up 60% today now this is something which is speculative my theory and also a theory of ray dalio my theory is not exactly same but a new world order may soon emerge see clearly us dollar is losing its domination but us will still want to hold control the reins of the world so we could see a new indirect us controlled world which is in a way backed by usd gold and crypto 
USD is already owned by US crypto US will want to own fully in terms of the control it could be a totally new coin as a competition or something analogous to Bitcoin that may emerge but controlled by US government gold in any case US has the largest mines in Nevada any case so not very hard for US to implement this particular new world order India also is evolving next year we will see changes that we can't imagine in India I also can't imagine what they will be but I am expecting something big that is reflecting in government's capex cycle also which is kind of at a standstill right now government is definitely saving the money for something be ready to change be ready to evolve the world order will change for sure if you are resistant to change if you cling to stocks or your favorite old ones you may suddenly lose a lot of value in your portfolio the portfolios will need to align hope this section was useful not to scare you at all thanks for watching i will see you tomorrow